Today, we're going to talk about Bill Gates' appeal and if it's safe. I did a pretty thorough research on Google to see if it was safe. And as I was reading the pages, it, it looked really safe. In fact, it's been thoroughly fact-checked. So we know it's probably going to be safe and we don't need to look any further until I took one additional look at the ingredients of this appeal. And one of the things that was listed is his 99.34% of this product is listed as other ingredients. Other ingredients? <laughs> it doesn't tell you what's in it. So right there is a big red flag. There's no transparency. We do know that there are mono and diglycerides in there, which I'm going to talk about, but we don't know what else is in this product. Now, first of all, what is a mono or a diglyceride? It's a emulsifier. Well, what's an emulsifier? It's something that helps to mix two things together. And I was able to look at the patents in a, this appeal product and really kind of see more about the manufacturing process because they're using solvents in this process. And then they'll put in a metal like palladium and then put it under high heats with hydrogen. So it's like a fat-like substance that they're using, but they could be making this partially hydrogenated product, which is trans fats. That's how they make trans fats. They're actually adding hydrogens. It's called hydrogenation. And when you look a little bit more into this, you see that there's also traces of cadmium, lead, mercury, and arsenic. I'm like, what? But they're in very small amounts, and uh, they say that it's uh, safe because it's below uh, the certain standards that they use. But my question is, like, if you're consuming these chronically over time, have they ever done safety studies on that? They also add polyethylene glycol. I mean, isn't that the stuff they use in antifreeze? And these two solvents, for example, so are they toxic? Well, they said that they take them out. But my other question is like, what chemical do you use to take those solvents out? And are those chemicals clean? They don't tell you. I did a video on this. This is the industry's loophole. They can do their own safety studies, submit them to the FDA, get them approved. In fact, Trans fats at one time were considered generally recognized as safe until they found out they weren't safe. And also, if you have less than a half of a gram of trans fats, the FDA says you can round it down to zero trans fats. But what was really interesting is this point that if you classify something like this as an emulsifier and not as a lipid, which is a fat, you're exempt from the FDA's ban of trans fats. Amazing. Now, there's also another controversy over whether this appeal is really a coating or a fungicide because both the EPA and the uh, Organic Materials Review Institute says that it's a fungicide used after harvest. But appeal advertises this as a protective coating. So uh, there's a lot of problems with this product. You know, we don't know if they added carrageenan in there, which creates a lot of problems for people. And some of the other edible coatings that they use are things like beeswax, which I think is, is a lot better, but they also use like shellac. I mean, don't they use shellac in woodworking, staining, or sometimes they'll put that on your nails? Is that safe? And then also sometimes they use paraffin wax, which is made from petroleum, which actually is flammable. So I learned a lot about these uh, coatings that they're apparently putting on our fruits and vegetables, especially if you bring these fruits or vegetables home and you want to clean them off, right? So if you have this appeal coating around it, how are you going to take the pesticides out if it's conventional? Now, they do have an organic version, but you know sometimes with these organic products, you don't know if those are any safer. Personally, I am not going to be buying my fruits or vegetables with appeal. Because first of all, you can't clean it off, but you can actually maybe cut the peel off. But where is all the nutrition? Most of the nutrition is in the peel. So it's going to be really hard to take out any pesticides, insecticides, or any microbes. I mean, who knows if there's E. coli or salmonella. There's been outbreaks on that. But if you put that coating on there, that could actually seal that microbe in there. So as you can see, I have a lot of issues with this appeal. You might want to just buy fruits or vegetables that don't have this coating. And yes, uh, they might go bad a little bit quicker, but at least you can wash them off with something more natural. If you want to know how to do that, you should watch this video right here.